Here is living proof that anything is possible with determination. Four years ago, Kim Fawcett's life was shattered by a horrific car accident. She lost her young son and her leg in the tragedy. Amazingly, she didn't lose her fighting spirit as she now takes on the world in the triathlon. When Kim Fawcett arrives at the track, she prepares by slipping on a new leg. Okay, I just need your... Fawcett has become one of the top amputee triathletes in the world in her age group. Amazingly, it came just a year after a horrific car crash in 2006 that claimed the life of her nine-month-old son along with her right leg. There's something about sports that sort of, um, it reinvigorates your life and it reinvigorates your soul. And I can be honest in saying that um, I, I didn't find any solace in the rehab centers. I found it, it really sucked my soul dry and I needed to refurbish and triathlon was absolutely the way to do it. It didn't take long for Fawcett to catch on. After just two years of training, she placed third at the World Championships. Her husband Curtis is also a triathlete. He's there every step of the way. You can't help but be proud of Kim for, for what she's overcome, you know, coming, uh, starting off in a wheelchair and then ending up going to the World Championships for triathlon in just a couple of years. I, uh, I always tell people I have a hard time keeping up. And I actually do. That's why I train for triathlon myself, to keep up with my wife. Fortunately, he and I have um, survived our trauma together to prevail in this sport, of which we both love. Competing in triathlon has its challenges for Fawcett, such as the several legs she uses to compete. There's her running leg and cycling leg, all costing about $30,000 each which is covered by the Canadian military where she works. My, uh, her most prized possession is her real life leg. This is the leg that makes me feel like a whole person, makes me feel like a woman. It's almost an exact replica of the leg she lost. I just need a pedicure now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be known as the girl with one leg. I want to be just known as Kim Fawcett, uh, you know, a good triathlete. She's already accomplished that. Her next step, trying to capture a world title in Budapest, Hungary, September the 11th, which could pave the way to the Paralympic Games in London in 2012. I'm very fortunate that I have a capability to do high-end sports. So 2012 is very real for me, and uh, heck, you know, if I can survive and be healthy till 2016, you'll see me in 2016 as well amazing woman and the Canadian 55 plus games are getting underway tonight in Brockville with the opening ceremonies competition runs through August the 28th that's sports I'm Carolyn Waldo the